Hey guys, just hanging out today with the Dodge 6.7. I had a boost leak and I pressure tested the system and I found on the driver's side here the intake gasket, both the upper and lower between the uh, plenum here. Both were blowing bubbles when I put soap and water on it and I had also had a leak here. Just a, I'm not really sure the gasket just didn't seem to work. So I took it all apart, which was time consuming, not hard, but time consuming. Put it back together and it leaked worse than it did before I put in new gaskets. So what I ended up having to do is put an aircraft grade sealant in be on the gaskets in between each plenum here and also on the throttle body gasket. And now it's completely sealed. Not sure why that happened, but Either way, it's good to go now, so no leaks there. So back on the passenger side, I had another boost leak. And it was down on the boot here by the turbo. Probably can't really see it unless I pressure test the system. But I'm going to go ahead and change this boot today. I just ordered a new one from Rock Auto. It was about 100 bones. This is clearly a factory boot. It's got a band here. You can't even undo the clamp. So I'll have to zip that off with the zip disc on the grinder, just undo that bolt. We'll change it and we'll pressure test again and I'll show you the fitting I used to mount over the turbo to pressure test it. So I've gone ahead and just put a little bit of lubrications on this stud here to get this nut off. Most of these clamps, even on the exhaust, are 11 mil or 7 16 whatever you're into. So even though the clamp's loose now, sometimes it just needs a little bit of a hit to break the clamping forces. Alright, I got my boot slid off and you can see, it's kind of hard to see I guess, but uh, it did have a small crack in it there. And it's not much of a leak, it probably didn't affect anything, but a leak's a leak and it's not going to get any better. So here's our new boot. Came with new clamps, nice and blue. I'm gonna throw this on. It's a pretty challenging boot to get on. As long as you have half of it on, then you can start to. I'm just using a hook tool without hooking through the rubber. And just. Uh, Keep pulling it over a little bit at a time. It should work. All right, we got our boot on. Let's just give our clamps a good tightening here. It's pretty important because there's a lot of pressure. I'll call that tight. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I made to pressurize the boost system. All right guys, here's what I bought from the hardware store pressurize the system here so basically it's just your standard connection to connect two four inch pipes ABS cast iron whatever it's got the cap it's got the four inch coupling here to go inside the boot so the cap can screw inside it and just this four by four now as you can see I didn't use this one I bought the four inch and the three inch because I wasn't sure which size actually fit my turbo uh, it wasn't the four and it actually wasn't the three but I managed to get the three to fit over the end by stretching it and uh, never mind the bolt in the end that's just uh, this is the prototype before it goes into production but I did have my air fitting in the end of it and it hits the air filter there isn't enough room to put the air chuck on it so I just uh, put it in the side of the cap once I found that out and what I should have done was actually just moved it out a bit further to the end because I had to take away some of the cap to get the air chuck to fit over but anyway it fits I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and I'll show you how I pressure test it and we'll make sure that boot has no leaks okay I've got my little pressure testing contraption set up as you can see maybe how it's just a little bit bigger here if there was like a three and a quarter inch it would have been perfect maybe three and a half but anyway it does fit over it just takes a little manipulation now I'll go ahead and stick my airline on the fitting here All 
right, that's on. I'll turn the air on and we'll build some boost, simulated boost, and then we'll watch the gauge in the truck. Okay, here's our boost gauge. This is really helpful if you actually have a boost gauge. You can see how much you're boosting. I'm gonna put in about 15 PSI and then we'll pressure test it. All right, so it's just uh, hanging around 20, which is fine as well. Now we'll go ahead and give it a spray. So I've got my special leak detection fluid here. Soap and water. Spray the seams on this boot. That looks awesome. I don't see any leaks at all. Since I've got it pressure tested, I might as well double check this again. I definitely don't hear anything hissing out, which I did last time. Well, I definitely have no leaks now, so I'm glad my boost system is up to par. I go back over to this side. Yeah, everything looks good. No bubbles, no troubles. So if you're interested in testing the boost side of your truck, this is a pretty easy way to do it, just like I did. Uh, I'm not sure what this whole setup costs, maybe 15 bucks or something. And I had a spare air fitting around here and a spare bolt to put in when you screw up. But this is definitely the way to do it. Super quick, nice and tight. Make sure your clamps are tight because this did blow off on me the first time and uh, scared the hell out of me. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope this helps you out in uh, identifying a boost leak or a problem with your truck. We'll see you in the next video.